Hey guys, in this video I will be covering the reassembly of my X and Y axis and you can see right away that there's a problem when you try to uh, install the new ball screw and that's because the nut is in the way. This ball screw is longer than the one I removed uh, to make room for the spacers and the motor mounts, etc. So what you need to do is find a way to remove the ball nut without losing all of the ball bearings. And as what I did was turn down a piece of PVC that I bought at Lowe's. This is a weird dimension PVC. It came in like a five or six foot length. It's yellow and it's not half inch. I'm not sure what it's used for, but it did the job perfectly. I turned it down with my lathe and got a dimension that created a snug enough fit that it would go inside of the ball nut and capture all the ball bearings. I also tried this with a piece of aluminum and it was the same diameter. Maybe I needed to make it a little bit uh, thinner because the aluminum piece wouldn't go in. My, my actual suspicion is that the ball bearings need to be able to crush up against the wall of the tubing or whatever your spacer is and so a softer material is probably preferred. Uh, anyway, you can see here that I've got the ball nut mount installed. That big chunk of aluminum is Haas's design, so I'm not going to cover the making of that. You'll need to watch his uh, by his DVD for details. And then reassembly pretty much goes the opposite way that it was disassembled. So if you have questions or you want to see something in more detail, watch my disassembly video. Or, of course, post a question below and I'll be happy to answer it. One thing I do want to mention, the two screws on the back of the saddle that I'm tightening now you want to get them just tight enough that it'll hold your ball nut in the or your ball nut mount in the slot, but you don't want to tighten it down all the way until you've assembled this front uh, bearing block spacer. The reason is once you tighten down the spacer, your ball screw is going to want to go into some comfortable position, and if you've already tightened down the ball nut mount, it won't be able to. So tighten down this front block and then run the saddle back and forth a couple of times, and you'll kind of get an idea of what that. Uh, ball nut mount wants to do and then you can go ahead and tighten down the screws at the back of the saddle. There's a bearing on either side of this uh, spacer and that's to control thrust in both directions for this axis and uh, one thing you want to do is when you tighten down the nut in my case it's a square nut with set screws you don't want to tighten it down too much or else you'll pinch the bearing up against the spacer and the motor won't be able to turn the screw so you want to get it just tight enough that it takes the slop out of the system but no tighter and you may end up having to disassemble a couple of times to kind of fine tune that and then of course you have to use a jam nut I don't have one in this shot and I discussed that in my ball screw video um, I didn't realize that this square nut with set screws was going to fail. You've got to use a jam nut, so get them ordered as soon as you can. Uh, you can see my couplers go together pretty easily, and of course the part numbers for those are also in Haas's DVD. And then you have to grind down the uh, ball nut if you're using this setup, because there's not enough room for it between the top of the saddle and the bottom of the table. Grind slowly and take long breaks. You don't want to pour a lot of heat into the nut because you may melt some of the little plastic bits inside. So I actually spent about an hour uh, allowing it to cool quite a bit. Uh, and that worked great. This yellow tape was kind of a nightmare to remove, so I would suggest using maybe like a clear packing tape. But either way, use some kind of solvent uh, to remove the gunk after you get the tape cleaned off. If you look closely, you'll notice there's a spacer at the bottom of that nut, and there's two screws in front of it that pinch all of that into the saddle. I don't think I actually show the tightening of those two screws in this video, but remember they are down there. And then you can just set the table, uh, slide it right onto the ways. It goes on really easily. There's also a ball bearing on either, or a, a bearing, I guess. Um, these are angular contact bearings um, on all axis, and one goes on either side of this end cap, and again, that controls thrust on uh, in both directions for this axis. And all the other parts that you're looking at came from Haas's DVD as well. I can't stress how much I appreciate his work because it made my work so much easier. I'm missing the jam nut on this axis as well, so I install that... Uh, much later and I want to also mention the the bearing on the left side or the non-motor side in uh, in my case it's the left side uh, that bearing is only there to control how much or how little the screw is allowed to whip because it's a long screw and mine actually has a little bit of a bend or a bow to it and so it does try to whip uh, what I'm getting at is the nut holding the bearing in on the non-motor side does not need to be very tight. In fact, finger tight, I mean, 
it, it doesn't even need to be touching the bearing. It just needs to, it just needs to control whipping. That's all it's doing. The, the motor side is controlling all the thrust. Anyway, that's everything I have for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave your questions and comments below, and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. And we'll see you in the next video.